first half slid turned out reasonably well, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do another one just like it, um, so that they'll both be the same. This one turned out good. It is set up good. I've got to, like I said, I've got to clean up the corners, but other than that, you know, core it, um, sand it, and fill it, and gel coat top. This one, unfortunately, I'm running low on the 1708 biaxial, so I'm going to piece this first layer and I'm just going to butt piece it together there. And then the next two layers will be, you know, one piece. And like I say, this will be the bottom where it gets uh, glassed in again with the core material anyway. So let's get started. <laughs> That's all right. Head off anyway. That looks pretty good. Okay, I ran it through the table saw to cut it from a depth. Well, let's see if it'll come out. Too. Just gonna tape up the corner so nothing will run out. Get it away from me. This is not cured yet, so by going ahead and putting this I'm thickening epoxy in these corners now. With a little bit of luck, it'll, it'll bond to it good. I can just mix up some, some thickened epoxy and just pour it in these corners and let it sit overnight. And tomorrow I can grind it down and I'll have my shape already done. I'm pouring this in a pretty much level form. I will not mix in the, the other stuff with it like I usually do. two hatches roughed out and uh, reinforced the corners a little bit just uh, preliminarily so I could get my outside radiuses ground out. Just seeing if they fit before I core them. Think that's gonna be okay. The fit looks reasonable. I 
I've got this scrap piece of this 3 8 inch thick marine plywood. It's seven ply. So it'll be nice and stiff. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna use to core these hatch lids with. So there's the, what the core, well, how it fits on the bottom. Have, have to leave a, a gutter around the edge of it to fit into the storage hatch itself. Okay, so I just mixed up uh, some epoxy with uh, colloidal silica in it where I should get good squeeze out and then I'll use the squeeze out for the for the uh, fillet around the edges. I'm just using my hands to kind of give it a bit of a twist and a squeeze to uh, make sure that there's hair pockets are out of it. Checking my alignment on my marks. That looks pretty good right there. Now I'm going to just put some weight on it. Double check of my alignment. And then I'm pretty sure I can use my mixing stick here to, to get my radius. I want to try to leave this radius as clean as possible so that I don't have to do a whole lot of sanding. So I'll take my time and clean it up as I go. And I got the second one done. Everything smoothed out and ready to roll. Just got to let it set up overnight. And this morning, and this, well, this afternoon, I guess, I helped my friend finish up getting the carpet on his pontoon boat. Still got to trim the edges. But we got it all glued down and stapled with stainless staples around the edge. All glued down. Put... Uh, one new piece of plywood up here in the front. It was a little bit questionable, so replace that one front front piece. And that's uh, eight foot by twenty four foot. I got the two hatches made and roughed out, and I've got with the uh, coring on the back. Yeah, you can sit on it now. Yeah, but if you put sea plastic up that has pipes like that, you can go all these. Isn't that cool? Yep. I'm getting ready to cover the back of these hatch lids with some uh, chop strand mat. I believe what I'm using is, I believe it's three quarter inch or three quarter ounce. And I've just mixed up some, mixing up some epoxy. I'll pre wet everything and lay it down in it. I've got a can of slow hardener here that's a bit old. It still works fine. It's just slightly darker in color. And I'm mixing it up to use on the back of this just to get rid of this old hardener that I got. Like I said, it'll still cure fine, but it has a tendency to get turn kind of a dark amber color.
a couple of pieces already cut out. This helps get out excess resin and also forces the resin through the material. There's the second one done. 